Welcome back to Cooking with Wilma. Today we found a new way to cook your rice. Breaking news! This just in. We have more information about the Battle of Saratoga. Hold on, what happened? Here's some background information on the Battle of Saratoga. The two battles that have just ended were 18 days apart. They have caused a turning point in the American Revolution that has been going on for three years now. The first battle took place on September 19, 1777 at Freeman's Farms. British General John Burgoyne led the British south and stopped about 10 miles below Saratoga. American troops were led by Horatio Gates and Benedict Arnold. Arnold won permission from Gates to lead Daniel Morgan's men and Henry Dearborn's light infantry into the woods to block the British flanking column. Troops attacking from the side in order to prevent them from moving forward. Guys, we're going to attack first while a militia of sharpshooters from Virginia harassed the British. Other colonist forces aggressively charged into battle. And during the afternoon, Arnold brought in more troops until Gates broke off the action, leaving the worn-out British in possession of the ground. Burgoyne lost two men for every one on the American side, but still won very effortlessly. This battle was a small but costly victory for the British. So what happened at the second battle? This battle began on October 7th at Bemis Heights, but since Burgoyne and his troops were the, won the first battle, they were overconfident that they would win this battle. He then slowly moved south, giving the flustered Americans time to regroup under Horatio Gates. George Washington sent Benedict Arnold, Colonel Daniel Morgan's riflemen, and two brigades of Continentals from the Hudson Highlands. Gates now had 6,500 more men. There was also Colonel Thaddeus Huskyoko. So first, so first Burgoyne attempted another assault, but with a weaker army. Meanwhile, Arnold, Arnold ignored Gates' orders and joined the fighting and led an attack to capture key, point, key strong points. This forced the British to retreat to Saratoga, where they were surrounded by an oncoming of militia. Burgoyne tried to break free from the encircling colonial forces and drive them from the field, but the British troops were devastated and nearly lost their established positions. Meanwhile, Benedict Arnold received a wound in the leg while fighting on horseback. Burgoyne's defeat at Bemis Heights forced him to withdraw north to camps in and around the present village of Shoreville. He then surrendered 10 days later on October 17th. The Americans won the second battle at Saratoga. Who is that? She's an eyewitness from the battle. <laughs> oh, okay. Carry on. Why did this battle start? The colonists and I have started the American Revolution so we can separate from Great Britain and their unfair laws. When the American Revolution is over, we will be free. Why was this battle so important? Since we won this battle, the French have entered the war as our ally because they believe together we can defeat the British. If the British lose, which they will, then we, the French will bump up in power and the British will bump down. Basically, we now have a greater chance at winning the war. I see. What events did you take part in during the Battle of Saratoga? I cared for injured soldiers and even disguised myself to help take out the British soldiers. Molly, Rebecca, any questions for Abigail? I don't have any. Thanks for the information and helping out during the battles. Now back to cooking the rice. Not yet. We need to do our recap. The importance of this battle was that it was a turning point in the American Revolution. Let's get frying. Sorry for a lot.